Very warm welcome to you all. Uh, uh, from me, it's uh, it's half past eight here in the UK, but wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a, a good time, ready for Christmas, and uh, we're going to go through the eight hands that you played this evening. Okay, board one that you played. Um, all right, let me see if I can mute all the people on Zoom. Uh, participants, mute all. There we go. Right. So everybody should be muted now. Okay, shut that bit down. Okay, board one is on your screen, and uh, we're going to be playing this in the contract of Four Hearts by East. It is a competitive auction. North starts off with the diamond. East over calls one heart. And North South don't compete anymore, so we'll just raise him to four hearts. There we go. It's the first time you can hear me clearly. Well, I'm using a headset tonight. I mean, I don't always use a headset, but I am using one uh, tonight. And I hope you can hear me. We do have Alan with us. We may ask Alan for his comments. And we do have Jeff Simpson with us, who uh, sometimes has had the odd gem or, uh, or something to, to contribute. Uh, can you, if, you, if you're at the table, you just click on the People's tab. And the kibitzers tab at the top of that, and that will tell you who is kibitzing. And at the moment, uh, according to my list, we have uh, 24 people kibitzing. Okay, I'm not going to go through them all, but they're all very welcome. Okay, Four Hearts was the lead, and the lead is the uh, Four Hearts is a contract, and the lead is the Eight of Diamonds. Okay. Where are we going to go for tricks? It looks like we're going to lose at least one diamond and could lose two clubs and could lose a spade. And uh, that's one loser too many. We're not going to lose any hearts. But these diamonds, what has North got? Well, the eight looks either a single turn or the top. Can of you the hang on turn. there, Colin? Yeah, of course. Uh, well, you're getting two people complain there's no sound. That's Egg 46 and Policeman have both said no sound. Are they on Zoom or are they on... I have uh, no idea, but I thought it was worth sorting them out before uh, okay. we carry on. Okay. Uh, right. Who... Send you sending the ways to do it. I don't right. understand. Yeah. Everybody else is hearing. Yeah. Well, we'll try and see if we can sort them out. If they're trying to listen to me on BBO Voice... Okay. Uh, oh, three people. Psych Dad is also saying you've got on no Zoom. Uh, what are they on? Are they on voice? Or I'm Zoom? just asking them. If they're on BBO voice, they should leave it and come back again. That's true. If I BBO. say things, they can't hear me. Leave it. They're on BBO. And come back to it. It's a yellow button, isn't it? Well, Zoop missing out of action. That's silly. I can, Vlad can't hear either. Can others? Can other people hear me on BBO Voice? Because they could hear me on BBO Voice to start with. Is Zoom not an option? Egg 46 says Zoom is not an option for him, but most people seem to be on voice. Yeah. And Sandy's saying she can hear you. Yeah. Don't understand this. There's quite a lot of people who aren't hearing voice. Nice. Yeah, it could be the wrong browser. Could be they, as you said, they need to reboot. My goodness. Yes, try changing the browser, says Sanya. Yeah. Never had this problem before. Not with so many, no. Ah. 
people on apps can try and browse that. Uh, probably so won't hear anything we say. Let's look, speak to me. Okay, Sanya's telling him to talk to her. And um, uh, okay, Sanya, shall I just carry on? I'll do uh, something to the kibitz. Uh, yeah, BB your voice doesn't work for Linda either, Colin. We're using Zoom here. You're using it's Zoom. Right, yeah, here, well, we're... voice seems to be what's the problem. Yeah, it's uh. uh you could have you close voice down and reset it, Colin. No, I can try be, that. Might be worthwhile having a go. Yeah. Something and that's what I'm going to try doing. So I'm going to click on it, stop speaking, and turn it off. Now I'm back with the blue button. Start speaking. Right. right. Click on the X. And you need to say something. To okay, I'm just on it's, uh, I mean, I've tried to... Uh, yeah, it's back. It's back. Linda says, "Baby, your voice is fine." Right. So I've reset uh, okay. it. I've reset it here. Can other people hear me now on BBO voice? But I I turned it off here and then reset it again. Yes, yes says Glynis. Glynis and uh, okay, Glynis can hear me at least. Okay, carry so on with the lesson, Colin. We can't will... wait to find out how to go and do this hand. I, I'm still <laughs> still okay, struggling. We're... We've, we've got it. We seem to be got it working. OK, so now what we were looking at was this diamond situation. And we can bet our bottom dollar that North has got both the ace and the jack of diamonds. That lead tells us that. And that really gives us the answer. Now, exactly, Jeff, let it run to the nine. If we go up with the king, we won't have enough tricks. If put the ace on, we can make the queen, but that's all we can make. But if we let it run, north will win with the jack. And, uh, and well, well, north is not going to play another diamond because you may well have a singleton. He'll probably switch to a spade. That we're going to win. And now we have a finesse position in diamonds and we can set up two diamond tricks, provided we take the trumps away from the opposition first. And that will dispose of two of our losers. So let's play uh, a couple of rounds of trumps. Play three rounds if necessary, but it's not. And now we're going to play the diamond. And if North doesn't cover it, we'll throw a loser away. And if he covers the next one, we will rough it. Cross the dummy again. and ditch another loser and of course it would be another club because we've only got one spade loser now or we're going to we're going to lose a spade and we're going to lose a club but that will be 10 tricks so we needed to use the the value of that king, queen, ten of diamonds, and particularly the nine of diamonds in our hand. You know, going up with the king will not give us enough tricks. He'll put the ace on. We'll get one discard on the queen, but that's all. And that won't be enough. We'll still lose two clubs and a spade and a diamond. Okay. Do we have any uh, other questions or comments on, uh, on, uh, on board one, please? Okay, we will move on to board two. Uh, 
mute, try muting everybody again. Hold on just a second. Everybody's muted again. Yeah, we'll go on to board two. Board two. Send it to the table. Now, this is a classic hand about counting. Uh, West is going to be playing this hand, and um, no opposition bidding. Seven. You can't join the play, Glynis. Why can't you join the play? You just, you just join me. That's all you need to do. Anybody know why? Why? Why Dennis can't join us? She says. Right into her. So, carry on. Oh, she's at the table now. It says, "All right, okay, we're going." Okay, All right. Seven no trumps by West after a, a non-competitive auction, and we get the lead of the Jack of Spades. Now, what's the only club that will give us problems? The only suit that will give us problems is clubs. If the clubs break 4-1, then we're going to have a club loser unless we can do something about it. And to do something about it, we have to know about it. OK, now maybe we can find out about the clubs. Maybe we can't. But let's have a go. So we're going to leave the clubs alone. And for the moment, we're going to leave the diamonds alone because at least the diamonds give us the option of crossing to dummy. We can only get to dummy in one other suit and that would be clubs. And that's the suit we don't want to touch until we have to. So we're, for the moment, we're going to cash the spades and the hearts and see what we can learn. Right, here comes the second spade. And now the third spade. Now, oh, X still can't get the voice. Okay. Now, North had five spades. That we know. We know North started off with five spades. We'll just store that piece of information away. And now we start on the hearts. And lo and behold, we now find out that North had five hearts as well because South has shown out on the third round. So that's ten cards that we know of in the North hand, five hearts and five spades. And it's quite uh, informative that South has not discarded a club. He's discarded diamonds on both of those major suits. So now we're going to cash two top diamonds, keeping the Queen as an entry in dummy because we may need it. And let's see what happens with those. If North has only got one diamond, then the clubs will break. But no, he has two. So he's only got one club at most. He might have no clubs. But if he has no clubs, I don't think we can do anything about it because that means... South would have Jack 9, 8 and two more. And in fact, if North has got the Singleton 5 or 6, the Jack 9, 8, X in the South hand will prove unmanageable. But if North has got the Singleton 8 or the Singleton 9 
or the singleton jack, we can cope, provided we know about it. And we do know that he's only got one at most. So we're going to pick up that one by playing a club to the king. And now if we've been doing our counting, we now know that South has got the jack nine and the six, if you're capable of thinking that far. But certainly the jack and the nine and nothing higher than the seven. So what we're going to do now, we're going to play a club. And if South realises that you're going to finesse the seven, he'll jump in with the nine. North is out of it. But now, because we kept this diamond entry, now we will finesse the seven if South plays the six. And if he plays the jack, we will take it with the ace and the ten will be good. Either way, we're going to make two more club tricks. A triumph for counting the distribution. Now, of course, sometimes you t attempt these sort of exercises and you don't get the information that you need. You may find out that well, only one of them can have four clubs, but uh, you, you won't know for sure that it would be four. So, uh, but here we get the definite information. North had five hearts, he had five spades, he had two diamonds. So we have to pray that his one remaining club, if he's got one, uh, is the eight or the nine or the jack, in which case we need two club finesses and we need the queen of diamonds as an entry to take the second one if South doesn't, uh, if Perth plays low on the first one. So once you count, it becomes quite easy. Without the counting, it becomes pretty nigh impossible because most people will play for the clubs to be 3-2. They may even have started off with the clubs because they've got more clubs than they've got anything else. And then uh, they've got nothing to tell them, and off they go. Okay, do we have any questions or comments on board two, please? Uh, Ega said that she will have to leave because she still can't get the voice. So I, I don't know why they can't get the voice. I think other people still tend to be with us. And uh, uh, we've still got uh, 26 people with us. I'm assuming they can hear me one way or another. So maybe it's the browser that she's losing. I bet she doesn't have a volume turned up, Colin, on a PC, probably. <laughs> well, who knows, uh, Jeff? But uh, OK, but, you know, Zoom is probably better because now if, uh, if Jeff or Alan offers an opinion, um, then you can hear them. Uh, you probably can't hear them if you're listening on uh, on BBO voice. OK, we will move on to board three, he says. You can find board three. Is board three. What? Say what? And this contract is going to be three no trumps and it's going to be played by North. Um, uh, I don't think we've got any uh, uh, opposition bidding, so we'll just make it three no trumps by North. Now, if we start with, well, we get the lead of a heart. Not very good news for us. And I suspect that most people would play it like this. They would say, well, I will duck the heart twice. Um, although really, you're not risking losing the lead to west. You're only risking losing the lead to east. So the, the, the duck in itself doesn't count uh, for much. But people do. So uh, they duck the heart twice. And then they uh, think, well, you know, I'm, I'm going to take the diamond finesse. That's my best chance. West might well have the king of diamonds. Uh, so we can cross over to die with the club. It won't help us to catch the clubs first. We need the diamond trick. 
whether we like it or not. And unfortunately, it's East that's got the King of Diamonds, and of course, he's got two more hearts. So on that line, it's going to go down one. That's how I'd have played it, Colin. Yeah, that's how you'd have played it, Alan. I yeah, don't, I don't believe a so. word of it. Okay. Uh, I'm sure I, I would. I'm going to put the board back up to the table, and we'll show you a somewhat better line, we think. Let's have a look. So. We put the bidding back to Trino Trumps. I've noticed something. Alan tells lies sometimes, you know. He tells lies in the play sometimes too. We'll see that a bit later. Right, okay. Same lead. Now we're going to duck the first one, but we're going to take the second one. And this is what our plan is. Looking at the heart pips, we can tell that East does not have more than five hearts. He might only have four, depending, but it looks likely that he's got five. But that in itself isn't fatal. What we're going to do, we're going to take his club exit cards away from him, but we can't afford to cash all the clubs because then what will happen is that we will be forced to discard on the two remaining hearts that he will play, and then uh, we, we can't afford it. So, But we can afford to throw a club from one hand. Colin, you haven't said the magic word end play yet. No, 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 I'm coming to that, Alan. I well, didn't you say... need to, but why are you discarding on his hearts? Then? You need yeah. to let them... We're, go we're going to give him the lead with the ten of hearts. All right, Alan, we're going to give East the lead with the Ten of Hearts and let him cash his two hearts. But by taking the clubs away from him, then he's going to have to play a spade or a diamond. And either of those will give us enough tricks. But uh, when we, we're going to cash two more clubs. But we're not going to cash them all because then we won't be able to discard on his heart. Now, he wants to hang on to his hearts and he feels his need to hang on to his spades. So he'll let a diamond go. Right. Now we can let the ten of hearts go. He wins, of course. And we can throw this club away from dummy, can we? Or we can throw a club away from hand. We need the club in dummy. We need the club in dummy. So we're going to throw it away from hand. Now he's going to cash another heart. We're going to keep the diamond. Keep the club. We can throw this club. The queen of clubs is a winner. And we can get there with the ace of spades. But what is East to play now? If he plays a spade, we'll let that run round to iron. We'll make the king, we'll make three spade tricks and one diamond and the queen of clubs. And if he plays a diamond, we let that run round to the queen of days, queen of diamonds. And now we make two diamonds and two spades and one club. Either way, we're going to make the remaining um, five tricks. And it doesn't matter who's got the king of diamonds or who's got the queen of spades doesn't matter he did couldn't hang on to more than three hearts because they only had five to start with so provided we were able to take his clubs away from him and we looked forward to the point that we can't afford to cash all the clubs otherwise we're going to be stuck for discards on these hearts then this is a a really beautiful end play and uh, I, I think on a good day alan would get it right anyway that's what i think <laughs> you can laugh at me, Alan. Uh, do we have any other questions or comments on board three then, please? And we're going to come in a moment to Jeff's favourite and board four. I think Jeff thinks it's impossible, but we will have a look. 
because I think board four is a terrific game. No. I want another entry in dummy place. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, need... no, no, you don't. no, you don't. No, Jeff. you don't. No, you don't. He was convinced we'd given him the hand drum. Tell you, <laughs> are you sure with these two cards shouldn't be swapped over? He says it's only a two and a three. Come on. <laughs> Ah, but they were critical. Oh. They gave you another entry that you didn't need, Jeff. I'm listening. Yeah, well, you can listen away. Let's uh, put board four up to the table. Yeah, here we go. Now, first of all, I'm going to go. We're going to give you the full auction here because uh, it is quite indicative. Um, one heart from West. Oh, sorry, that wasn't what I meant to do. One heart, I said, one heart from West. Mouse click, moved. Right, pass, pass. South bid three clubs. Three spades now from West. And we get uh, four clubs from North. Yes, his partner has shown a very strong hand, we think. Four clubs. Pass and South bids five clubs. And that's where we play. And we were told that the lead was the Ace and the Queen of Hearts. Okay, so the Ace of Hearts is not the... Uh, Best lead, worst lead in the world. Robert, let's just think about the bidding again. South bid hearts first and then bid the spades. And he bid the spades at three level, despite the fact that his partner's not said anything. So he's surely got at least five spades. But if he's got five spades and five hearts, he would have opened one spade rather than one heart. That's before it fairly standard did. So the thing to uh, uh, his bidding suggests that he's going to be at least six, five in hearts and spades. Six hearts and five spades is a not unreasonable interpretation of his bidding. That means he's only got two cards in the minus. And that makes us feel that we have to be a little bit wary. It's reasonable to hope that the King of Diamonds is going to be where we want it. But unfortunately, we're a little bit short of entries. Now, we're certainly not going to do anything with this first heart. But he continues with the Queen. Now, if we take the King of Hearts, what are we going to throw on it? If we throw a diamond on it, now it's possible we could take the Ace of Diamonds and cross the dummy with a club and then take the a roughing finesse against the diamond, which would work. But unfortunately, it's very possible that West would rough the first diamond. He's only got two cards in the minors. So we don't really want to do that if we can help it. So can we manage these diamonds in a different way? Well, yes, we can. But we can do it by using the King of Hearts later. We haven't really, don't really want, don't need to throw that Eight of Diamonds away on it. And throwing a spade on it's not going to help us. We're going to lose two spades anyway. So we're going to put off the King of Hearts. And we will rough it in our hand. Now, Jeff was hoping that this was the two of clubs and then Dummy would have the three and he'd have another entry. But now what are we going to do? Well, we're going to play two rounds of clubs, the second one finishing in Dummy, and hopefully that will draw the trumps. And indeed it does. And uh, he's going to forward a diamond. Now we're going to take the diamond finesse. And East is not going to cover it. If he did, he's just giving it up. So our Queen of Diamonds wins. And what do we do next? Take the finesse we again. Another finesse. diamond. Another diamond. Oh. oh, go away, Alan. 
Now we've got a useful discard on this King of Hearts because we can throw the diamond away. Yeah, I can't control him, uh, I'm Sanya, I'm sorry. And now we can continue with a roughing diamond finesse and we still have the Queen of Clubs there as an entry. It doesn't really matter whether East covers this or not because we're going to rough it when he does. And now you can see what's going to happen. We're going to throw two spades away on the 10 nine of diamonds and we're going to give them a spade at the end. So we're going to make 11 tricks. Yes, there we go. And do you know, okay. Colin, somebody wanted an extra club entry for this? I know, oh, yeah. I give yes. over. I was nearly <laughs> there, you rotten devil. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I Jeff. I word King of Diamonds was. Uh, <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, you just didn't use it, though, did you? I mean, you know, I mean, I don't have any control over who sits where and who gets which hands because, you know, the BBO decides and players that are No, that's a corker of a hand, though. Very good. But I would have given it to you, Jeff, on purpose if I'd have had the chance. But uh, <laughs> I think it's a very challenging hand, that one, yes. OK. Yeah, it is. It's a lovely hand, isn't it, Glynis? I, I think it's really challenging because he's so tempting to throw the eight of spades away on the king and just yeah. assume the ace of diamonds will stand up. Yeah, but yeah. The, but there is this big warning from West that he yeah, may the, be rough. Yeah, so the, in fact, you know, he's got he's got eleven cards we're sure of in the majors, and that's a there's a big chance that he may be roughing your ace of diamonds, and then that would be roughing one you know, taking one trick too many for you. Okay, do we have any other questions or comments on uh, on board four? No, I think that's a super hand. I really do. Let's go to board five. And I watch Vlad play this one. I don't know if Vlad is still with us at the moment, but he played it kind of perfect. And both Alan and I were watching him, and we were quite impressed. Uh, we used to give the toughest hands to Wes. <laughs> uh, Murphy Laws, OK. I, um, I, I don't know how you decide who's going to sit where, but uh, to me it appears to be random. But, OK, board five. Uh, it is a competitive auction, so we'll give it to you. Uh, North opens a spade. East doubles. That's not everybody's choice, I don't think, but uh, he has got th at least three cards in all the other suits. So, uh, I live in clubs. I bid yeah. clubs. Yeah, yeah, well, shut up, Alan. South is going to pass because he's got, got much. Three diamonds from West. That's the only suit he's got. But he does have good values, which is why he's bidding three or nine rather than two. Pass. Now East comes to life with a UL. I've shown you know I got a good club suit now because I doubled first. And now we get five clubs from West, which becomes the final contract. Come on. Pass. There we go. And when I was young, Colin, double and bid a new suit was 17. And oh, I read in the Bridge magazine that now it's 18. Oh, dear. Oh, I dear. don't think East has an 18 yet, but there we go. Okay, yeah. Well, these hands, I don't know how many years old these hands are. And That's true. We, we, we do know that the bidding is not always... Uh, uh, as you'd expect it to be by today's standards. But uh, these hands, I think, have been around for a while. I know that Alan has modified some of them to, uh, uh, to to bring out a particular point or to eliminate other lines of play. And I know Alan takes a very long time and puts a lot of work into uh, developing these hands for you to use. On years and area. years. Yeah, yeah, years. And, yeah, no, no, I wouldn't go that far, but oh, we okay. do... We, we do appreciate it, Alan, I tell you. Hey, thank you, Colin. Okay, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. Everybody that tackles these hands uh, will appreciate the work that you put in. I think okay. if you have seven tricks, it's a wee bit too good to be saying over, Carl. <laughs> Don't you yeah. think? 
Well, no, I think it's a two club bid followed by a double because after two clubs, almost everybody bids, and now the double says I'm in the maximum end and I've got a really good club to it. And I think that describes it perfectly. Right, that's that's me, Jeff. All right. Yeah, nobody listens to Alan. Nobody passes two clubs. Uh... Nobody passes two. Clubs. <laughs> okay, so North wins the Jack of Spades, and. Um... He doesn't really know whether the second spade is, but nothing else looks attractive. He's certainly not going to play a heart. Um, might play a club, but can't really see you know, what's declaring not going to be roughing things in dummy. And he's got so many clubs that it won't stop him roughing things in hands if he want to. And he certainly doesn't want to play a diamond because his partner's probably marked with minus four points, something like that. So... Um, the natural thing for him to do is to play another spade. And the natural thing for a declarer to do is to rough it. Right? We can afford to rough it with the 10, just in case we need entries. Now, what's our plan of campaign? What tricks have we got? Almost certainly the King of Hearts is wrong. After all, North did open the bidding. And he's shown up with eight points so far. King of Hearts is going to give him 11. It's very likely he's got the Queen of Diamonds as well. Uh, not certain, but likely. But the Queen of Diamonds might be double ten. You know, we could catch the Ace King of Diamonds and the Queen might drop, in which case we don't have a problem at all. OK, but if he doesn't dropping, well, then what can we do? Well, it's another end play. What we're planning to do is to draw the trumps and eliminate the spades, rough that queen of spades, and we can afford to rough it high. Uh, we're going to draw the trumps, and then we're going to play three rounds of diamonds. And if the queen drops, fine. And if it doesn't drop, uh, provided it's north that's got it, and he's only got three, assuming that the queen doesn't drop, then he's going to be end played. He's either going to have to play a spade, which will give us a rough and discard, or a heart, which will be into the ace queen. But that would still leave us with a heart loser. So where's the heart loser going if we end play north and make him uh, lead a spade or a heart? And the same if he leads a spade, uh, we'll still have a heart loser. Well, no, we won't. Because if the diamonds are 3-3, three, three, then we will have a diamond trick in dummy as well. So that's our plan. We're going to draw the trumps, roughing that spade on the way. So let's uh, cross to dummy uh, with a trump first. All our trumps are high, so... He will put the king on, of course. But, uh, of course, we need the clubs to be 2-2 two, two as well. Otherwise, the rough and discard option doesn't come to us. Well, there's the clubs. They were 2-2. Two, two. Now let's tackle the diamonds. And we're hoping that North has either got Queen Doubleton or queen to three, and not more than three. Now, when the ten appears, playing the jack is absolutely can't cost, can it? So there's a position that we were hoping for. If north leads a spade now, we will discard a heart from hand and rough it in dummy and throw another heart away on the seven of diamonds and then we'll have the ace of hearts to cash. And if north plays a heart instead, it's not a rough discard, but it gives us a second heart trick and we can still discard a heart on that seven of diamonds. Unfortunately, we can't cash the seven of diamonds at trick 13 and claim our beer. But, uh, and now we've got two trumps left and we're making our 12 trips. 
So another end play, but we needed quite a few things to be right for this to work. We needed the clubs to be 2-2. Two -two. Otherwise, we've got no rough and discard elimination. We need North to have the King of Hearts, which we're fairly sure. We don't need him to have it, but we're fairly sure he's got it. Um, but we do need North, in that case, to have the Queen of Diamonds, either Doubleton or just a three. And uh, here we're lucky enough, uh, thanks to Alan, I'm sure, that all those uh, all those uh, necessities are fulfilled and we make up making the country. Yeah. Okay. I would say, Colin, uh, David, another option is to play for Doubleton King of Hearts with four diamonds. And then, if he's got the Queen of Diamonds, you can manage Ace of Hearts and another Heart for a different end play. But I think that's so specific, as opposed to either Doubleton Queen of Diamonds or, th and I think three three in the Hearts and and the Hearts and Diamonds is anyway more percentage than yeah, specifically. Right. So, although there is another play, I don't think it's as good as the one. That I, you it, tell. It, it, percentage is is less, I think, than the line. Yeah, that, I think that so we're, too. We're, that good, we're good job you were in charge. That's my yeah. Well, I was thinking that as well, Alan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do we have any other questions or comments on board six? Okay. We will, on board five, rather. We'll move on to board six. Get rid of these. Here's board six coming up. Export it to the table. And what have we got this time? Right. Now, uh, I looked at the blurb when Alan sent me these hands, and he finishes off uh, the, 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 the commentary that he sent me about the play with a, uh, a comment that I'll tell you about in a moment. But uh, let's have a look at the auction. The auction is uh, uh, one club, three clubs, three no trumps. So uh, it's going to be played by South. Uh, we're going to have a pass from East first. One club. Pass. Three clubs. Pass. Three no trumps. And I can imagine Jeff will be calling me all the names under the sun for giving him this hand. There you go. South just, just look at my comment. I think you <laughs> press discards well. You can't well, well, it all depends at what chance you give them to discard, Jeff. That's what uh -huh. my answer to you is. Okie dokie. Okay, let's have a look. We get the lead of a heart. Okay, so... Five of hearts, I think, according to my uh, my information. Right, now what have we got? Well, we've probably got four club tricks, uh, and we've got three heart tricks is seven, and we've got the ace of diamonds is eight, and ooh, not much chance of making a ninth. I mean, in theory, you could play for one of the opposition to have both the top spade on us, and lead small towards your queen, for example, if you're playing right out opponent for it. Uh, it doesn't really matter. But if there's a big danger that uh, if you do play on spades, that they, they're going to, A, it's not likely to succeed, and B, they're going to find the diamond switch. So really what we're trying to do here is to dissuade them from playing diamonds. And I'll tell you now the comment that Alan put at the end of the blurb. This uh, very open quotes, Colin, close quotes. In other words, he thinks this is a play that I would do. And he's quite right. And I'm going to <laughs> retaliate by saying that uh, I think Alan would make the same play too. I've so, seen you do this often, Colin. I know you not have, just what yeah, I think it. I've seen you do it. Yeah, I know, but I've seen you do it too with similar things. Anyway, okay. what are we talking about? Well, one of the ways to try to persuade the opposition not to tackle the suit is to tackle it yourself. Because they start off, if you're trying to set up diamonds, I need to find tricks elsewhere. That's the way most defenders will think. So, A, we don't want them to be persuaded to continue with harps. 
So we're not going to win this first trip with the ace. We're going to win it with the jack. And then West in particular will know that there's no future in hearts. He will make a trick where the diamond may be, uh, but he'll know he hasn't got the entries to set the heart. So we've got two more heart tricks, for heaven's sake. So he's probably going to switch, but what's he going to switch to? Let's see what happens. So we win this trick with the jack. East gives a count, if that's the way that they play. And now we're going to, open quotes, finesse the 10. Now, of course, it's not a finesse. We don't expect it to win, but that wasn't the object of the exercise. The object of the exercise was to persuade the opposition not to play diamonds. Now, if West believes that diamonds is not the suit to tackle, hearts is a waste of time, those clubs look very dangerous, especially when I've got them. What's he going to switch to? What do we want him to switch to? Well, he might fall for it. He might not. But we've given him the opportunity of thinking, if I'm going to make defensive tricks, spades are the best bet. And if he plays a spade, and it really doesn't matter now whether, uh, uh, if East goes up with the king and switches back to diamonds, well, I, I think probably we're still all right, but he's not likely to, is he? He's going to play the nine. You can see the jack in dummy. And now Declare is going to run for home. He's going to cash his clubs. And if anybody's got four clubs, it's likely to be East. So he's going to play the second club to the ace, but they're breaking. And we've got nine tricks. Now, is that a legitimate line, Jeff, or not? And well, I tried would... that ten of diamonds. No, I you, you, no, diamond no, straight back. Uh, excuse me, Jeff, but you cashed the clubs first. Yeah, I know I did. Uh, <laughs> well, that, that, then you gave them every opportunity to signal to discard, to each other. yeah, to signal, yes, yes. yes. But well, I not only that, I why are you playing the clubs trick. when you should be setting up your solid diamond suit? Exactly. You've got right. ace, ten, nine to four diamond. You, yeah, you should right. be playing on the diamonds while you have entries, Jeff. Uh -huh. <laughs> but you understand the, the subtlety behind it, Jeff, I'm sure. Yes, and I think good. I think everybody else will understand the subtlety behind these sort of plays, which are underused. I think the great Terence Reese said, you know, it's a, it's a very little understood art getting the opposition to play a different suit to the, the one they ought to be playing. And uh, Zia Mahmood manages it very well too. Yeah. I will Why? say something, Colin. Um, I was just a bit worried in case people were routinely continue in hearts, even though it's obviously a, a dead end. Well, that's a possibility. So I gave it to a couple of people mm -hmm. and they switched to spades. Right. Glynis is asking, why spades and not diamonds? Well, not well, diamonds. Play... Not diamonds, Glynis, because Declarer is playing diamonds. He's playing the diamond suit, and it would appear to both defenders that Declarer is trying to set up his diamond winners. Well, he not... thinks that South has ace 10 9 to 4, yeah. and West thinks that he's got ace jack 10, 10 to, 4. to 4. Yes. So indeed. neither of them, it looks like poison. Yeah, they, they they won't continue diamonds purely, we hope, because South tackled the suit. Now, South has tackled the suit purely to give that impression. But that's the impression they've given. And there's nothing at the moment to tell them any different. If you cash the clubs first, as Jeff pointed out, the opposition will signal to each other. Yeah, it's deception, we'll call it. Yeah, subterfuge, yeah, good, another good word, Linus. But that's the reason behind it. Okay. And I think it's a, I think it's a, a, a little, little used art. And Alan's quite right. It is something I do when I'm in a situation like this. I'm just as likely uh, to play a diamond from dummy when I've got something like jack to three and only two small woods in dummy. Let the opposition think I'm weak somewhere else, you know. But sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. But it's worth a try. Okay. Do we have any other comments or questions on board six? 
I think that's a good hand, personally. Okay, we'll move on to board seven. Yeah, I need an aspirin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're wearing you out, Jeff. Oh, dear. Well, you got two of the tough ones tonight, Jeff. You did, yeah. Okay, this is board seven. <laughs> Okay, again, another competitive auction. So we'll uh, we'll give you the auction um, as it as it occurred. Um, South passes to start with, and now it goes one club from west, north over calls one heart. and two diamonds. Uh, sorry. Pass from east. No, sorry. Let's, let's go and do that's two diamonds from east. I beg your pardon. Two diamonds from east. Pass from south. Two no trumps. Pass. Three no trumps. And that becomes the final contract. Now, it has to be said that uh, Alan and I were watching this hand and uh, uh, one player uh, very successfully made the contract, not on the line we were hoping for, but uh, I'm not sure that he should have got away with it. But we'll see what Jeff thinks in a minute. OK, um, the leaders are Ten of Hearts. Typical interior sequence type thing. And uh, I can't see any advantage at all in taking the ace. But um, what's going to happen if we win this trick? Let's have a look and see what's going to happen if we win this trick. Natural thing to do is to lead, take a diamond finesse. South wins and plays a heart and the hearts are going to be set up while the ace of diamonds is still in the north hand and it doesn't matter which one we're going to play yes I will save it for you Sanyu yeah okay it doesn't matter now whether we take this ace or not this is this is going to go off now so we're uh, we're going to claim this we can make as soon as we play a diamond we've got to play diamonds um, or clubs, but diamonds is the obvious thing. North is going to win the ace of diamonds and cash three more heart tricks. So we're, uh, we're, we've lost one trick and we're going to lose a diamond is two and three more hearts is five. So we're going to go at least one off. So we'll save this as one off and then we'll put the board back up to the table. So that's how not to play it. Now, before I show you what I think is the recommended line, uh, I'm just going to bid three no trumps by West. I'm going to show you what happened at one table that we did watch. Three no trumps. Ten of hearts lead. And this declarer played the ace of hearts. Still got a heart stop, of course. And then played a small diamond. Now, should South play the Queen? To the ace. <laughs> but the ace wasn't there. No, exactly. That's the reason I'm asking the question, Jeff. But you can see what happens. Yeah, it was a clever play. It was a clever play. We it think was it was a clever a, play. We think it was a clever play. But not only that, when... North continues, well, I think North actually switched to a spade, but uh, um, even if North continues with another heart. Declare has still got the option of taking the diamond finesse. Not really, Colin. Not really. But North would have won with the Queen of Diamonds if he had it. Well, yeah. Well, low diamond to the ten and Exa with the eight. Exactly. That is yeah. subtlety beyond belief. <laughs> South has the queen of diamonds, Colin. 
There we go. So that's how one declarer made it and then finished up with overtrips, I think. So, uh, uh, I think declare the, one, the North continued with spades rather than hearts. But we'll claim that as making and then we'll take you to what we think is a better line anyway that is much safer. Okay, so we'll claim that one and we'll put it back to the table once more. I will say I was impressed, Colin. Yeah, That's I was a very, a very yeah. clever line. I yeah, yeah, think it myself. No, no, no. It was impressive. We were both impressed. We were both watching it. Okay, so West again is going to be in three no trumps. But we won't forget that North made a one heart over call. Bidding went one club, one heart. So we, we will remember that. Uh, again, he leads the ten of hearts. Now, here's the thing. As we saw before, if we take this heart and then we take a losing diamond finesse, South is going to play a heart, which he's likely to have. There's no reason why we think North has got six. And now the hearts are going to be cleared before we can set the diamonds up. So what we're going to do, we're going to dump this heart. And if North plays a second heart, as he may well do, now we will win. But here's the difference. South hasn't got a heart left to play. And he can see that spades are not likely to be productive, but partner might have something in clubs. So we're going to switch to the ten of clubs. Now, if Declarer falls into the trap of taking the finesse, what's going to happen? North will win the king, will clear the hearts, and he's still got the ace of diamonds. We still won't have enough tricks. But assuming that North has got the ace of diamonds, and let's not forget, he's the one that made the overcall. And all he's shown up with so far is the King of Hearts. So assuming he's got the King of Clubs, it's very likely that he's got the Ace of Diamonds as well. In which case, we can save the day by refusing the club finesse. We don't need it. And carrying on with the Diamonds. The Hearts are still stopped. We're going to keep playing diamonds until North takes it. Now, what have we got? We've taken two tricks. We've got three more diamond tricks is five. One heart is six and three spades is nine. And if North tries to catch the king of clubs first, he's not going to, but he's going to play another heart. Uh, we've got three spade tricks and three diamond tricks to go with the three club tr three tricks that we've already made. So we're not making any over tricks, but we are making our contract. Can I make a suggestion? You go ahead, Jeff. If North is a very good player, yeah. the trick two on that line, when the heart is duped, he will know the only way to defeat this contract is to find partner with Queen of Diamonds. And he'll underlead his ace of diamonds straight away. Well, how will it help? Well, the queen will win, and then you switch to a heart. Yeah, but now declare a place the queen, you put the king on, he wins the ace, and it's still they're still stopped. He's still got the jack of hearts. He's docked the first one, Jeff. So he's 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 gonna win the heart and set the diamonds up before you get the hearts going. Oh, as, as, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so that that's not going to help. Ah, right. -o. And, and it's clearly it won't help for North to switch to anything else. But no, if yeah. if if West ducks the first heart, let's say a diamond comes, so South wins with the Queen and plays his remaining heart. So now that goes Queen King Ace. But now we knock the diamond out. We're back where we were before. We've 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 got three diamond tricks. One club is four. One heart is uh, two hearts is six and three spades. Yeah, yeah, very we, good. So the. The trick is trick one, yeah. 
Yeah, trick one, declare West has got to duck the first heart. He's got to see the danger of letting South get the lead while he's still got a heart left. And he can't have more than one left. And you're still going to make, you're only going to make two heart tricks anyway. So you don't need to make the first one. You make, as long as you make two, but you take it when it's safe for you to do, to tackle the diamonds. Okay. Right. Any other questions or comments on board seven? I think we've probably saved board seven and several times, several ways now, but uh, we'll come to board eight. We say here's board eight coming up. Here, board eight. Uh, again, a competitive auction. So we'll give you give you all the auctions. Uh, we get a pass from uh, from West. Now, one diamond. A lot of debate. Which do you open with four, four, four ones? But anyway, we're told it's a diamond pass. South bids two diamonds. I would probably bid a heart, I must confess, but there you go. We've given what we're given, two diamonds. And now we're grateful that we didn't bid hearts now because West comes in with two hearts. And North thinks, well, I, I, if you've got no wasted values in hearts, then five diamonds would appear to be a reasonable shot. I'm sure I cut this auction short, Colin. Yeah, well, that's that's the auction that Alan gave me, but uh, we 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 don't really care because what happens is how we play these, not how we get to them. By and large, we had a bit of a discussion too about what the opening lead would be. Both I and Alan agreed that we would lead the King of Hearts, just in case uh, we needed to switch to something, uh, and it's not going to cost. We're fairly certain. But uh, the lead you were given was the seven of hearts, so we'll, uh, we'll... Well, we would clarify, we don't normally lead a top on. I mean, I've seen people lead from queen to three, no, no. and it's a terrible lead. But but here, uh, with queen and the jack, uh, and can pawn even read the seven, and should I switch your trick too... Because of all these things, I think the king is right. But oh, I, 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 so I don't too. want you to do it just because you owe an honour mm. in partner suit. I think don't, that's just don't cool. automatically lead the top card in partner suit. That's a bad idea. We've both agreed on that. Okay. But anyway, so the lead goes to the seven of hearts to the to West Ace. And he's going to play a heart back. So we're going to rough. He's unblocking the king just in case, and then he needs to get to partners, and he's keeping keeping his options open. Now, what are we going to do? Well, if the diamonds are three two, uh, then we could draw the diamonds. Uh, so that would give us five tricks, and then uh, two spades and a spade rough. That would be seven. That would be eight, and Ace King and a club, Jack of, finesse the Jack of Clubs. That would be eleven, and that indeed is uh, what happened when this line was followed originally. This hand was played originally. Let's see what happens if we do that. All right, so let's uh, draw the trumps. I think this really comes under the category of I'll draw the trumps first, and then I'll think about it which is a very common fault. Well, it is, Alan, isn't it? We both I know, know it, it is, is yeah. yeah. So many players will draw the trumps first, and then they'll think about what they're going to do next. All right, so we've drawn the trumps now, and uh, he's going to throw a heart away. Okay. Uh, now we'll play the king of clubs. <sighs> And take the club finesse because finesses are things we know about. Uh, but on this occasion, unfortunately, now, unfortunately, you can't overtake it because that was set up with standing dummy. 
but he can play low. Uh, North can hang on to his for the club. But uh, now what does he do? Well, he can play a spade, but he's effectively he's picking up his partner's queen. If he plays a 10, that will be covered in a set of nine. So Declarer will make the rest of the tricks on that line, but he's one off. Right, so we'll claim that as one off for the moment. And then we'll go back and see if we can do it a little better. It's okay. just 50% fit. That's but... that, that, yes, yes, yes. Club finesse. The club well, finesse. Why, why take 50% when you have a near 100%? Hmm. Why didn't that export to the table? Oh. Oh, there we go. Right. Okay. So now we're going to, uh, now we're going to, well, North is going to be in five diamonds now. But we do know that West bid hearts. And it doesn't alter anything, but we will, we will, can, we will still play the seven of hearts. That comes another heart, which we rub. We will put the king on as we did before. But let's have a look at what tricks we've got. And let's have a look at these diamonds. We've got the ace, king, queen, jack, ten. So uh, if we can rough two spades... And rough a third spade, maybe with the eight. So even if West has only got two spades, his partner might have the nine of diamonds. And the king of clubs, ace of clubs. How many tricks will that give us? Well, we've taken one trick. Ace, king of spades is two. And a spade rough with the eight, that would be three. And two clubs, that would be five. Now, if we think that far ahead, we can then see that we can rough other wit losers with high trumps. We'll have a high cross rough. We'll still have a club left in each hand, but the opposition won't get the lead in time to play a trump out just to try and stop us doing that. So that's going to be our our uh, line. Let's let's uh, we can cash as long as we cash them those in that order. Let's uh, and the king of spades. Right now, we're going to cast the two clubs because if they if they we don't want them throwing clubs away on the spade, not that it's likely to do that much damage. We're not taking the finesse. We don't need it, provided we can rough this spade. As it happens, we could rough it with the two, but the eight is a better card to play because even if West hasn't got any spades left, he might not have the nine of diamonds. So now we're taking six tricks and we can rough two. We can rough a heart now with it, an unbeatable trump. And we can rough a spade with an unbeatable trump. Another heart with another unbeatable trump. Now we've taken nine tricks and now we can rough a club. Have I done something wrong here? Uh, no, you just got two tricks. You got the Queen of Diamonds and the King of Diamonds. Oh, yes, the, the Ace of Diamonds is gone. You don't have to rough a club. You no, it, did, it, it, it doesn't matter. I can, I can undo that and play the Queen of Diamonds, can't I? Well, it doesn't matter if you do play. It doesn't matter. It got... doesn't matter. I mean, yeah. I've got I've got two more tricks. This high cross rough has given me eleven tricks. 
I've got to play give them a club now. They won't get the club, they'll get a rough instead. But my King of Diamonds is going to make the last trick. Well played, Colin. I thought so too, Alan. It took me ages to work out how to do well, that. Uh, I had confidence in you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, so that was the successful line on on board eight. We don't take the club finesse and we don't draw trumps. We try to uh, work on a cross rough. And because our trumps are so good, the only thing we need to risk is roughing a spade with the eight of diamonds. Um, we could have roughed it with the two. That would have worked. But if the spades happened to have been five two, then that would have been over roughed almost certainly. As it happens, if, if he was 5-2, as long as East was the one that held the nine of diamonds, that line would still be successful. So it didn't cost anything. You know, it gave you an extra chance, so to speak. So, uh, OK. Do we have any other questions or comments on board, uh, on board eight? Uh, I must say, uh, I did think there might have been options of... Uh taking two finesses in the spade suit, Colin. And I suspect that works as well. Um, leading the jack and then taking a roughing finesse well, against the, the ten. If the jack is covered, yeah. now there's only the ten as a loser. So your nine and eight are equals. Yeah. Not sh And you do it, but you have to keep worrying about... You've got to do this before you've drawn all the trumps, so you've got mm -hmm. nothing left to control the heart suit. Mm -hmm. And I did, don't remember following this up, actually, but I did remember thinking, I bet you can make it an alternative way. And I think it's a real hand. He pulled it for it because he says what the declarer did in real life. Yes, so, OK, yeah, declarer so in real life. If, if I was, I, I would make sure that the Queen of Ten of Spades were offside just to teach everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're wicked, I am Alan. cruel, I know I am. You're yeah, okay. wicked, OK. okay. I'll, just, I'll just remind you all while you're, while you're on the line here that, uh, that there are no dares now for the next fortnight. Uh, because of the Christmas break and uh, whatever. Uh, we'll be back again in three weeks' time. And uh, I'm not sure whether that's going to be me or Alan, but it, it'll be one of us. And uh, we'll probably have some more hands along the same sort of uh, lines that uh, that we've been doing now. So uh, um, uh, if we have no more questions or comments, uh, thanks for joining us all. Thanks for playing. I wish those of you that come and listen would join in with the play as well. Thank you, Sanya. Yes. And uh, thank you to Alan. Thank you to Jeff uh, for your comments. And uh, I'm afraid we wound Jeff up a little bit tonight. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? Yeah. Makes a change from Linda. Yeah. Okay. When, when you're in five of a minor, uh, Colin, <laughs> isn't it wise to make a trump lead? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a bit of sour grapes there, Jeff. So no, 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 I'm just saying about this hand here. If you oh, make oh, a trump this, lead. Th this land here. Um... You can't say, Jeff. In all honesty, you make a trump lead and he uses the ace king of spades to throw his losing heart away, which you should have cashed a trick. Who knows? Yeah, give yeah, us I the know, auction, give us the hand. Well, five, five of minor is 11 tricks, and it, yeah. it frequently works. A trump lead, it puts you, down the... You, you well, well I can agree it frequently wins, yes. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah you should it, be leading your partner's suit. Are you when agreeing? partner's been a suit, yeah, you, 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 you risk the wrath of partner if you don't lead it and it costs. That's the problem. Right. Yeah, you're looking for a new partner, or at least the other way around, your partner's looking for a new partner, you know, mm -hmm. if, uh, if you don't. Anyway, um, have a good Christmas, the lot of you. Happy New Year, if I don't see you before. Some of you I'll see you before then, I'm sure. Thanks for joining us. Uh, good night. And uh, it's quarter to ten here in the UK. Um, and I hope you like those eight hands. I thought they were terrific hands.